So again, character from the anime, psych type, Navi 60. Box is pretty neat. Magnetic flap. All right, let's let's uh let's build a keyboard. Let's let's feel a little bit better. This is the Navi. This is based off of a anime, which they were very kind enough to actually give me some stuff for from the anime here, which is I think it's called yeah Serial Experiment Lane. I am gonna watch this. Apparently, this is really good. Apparently, it's super super good. But they were kind enough to do that. This is the studio. Um, I believe it's called Psych Type. They were very kind enough to do it. The keyboard itself, based off of the IC I read, is about 200 bucks. And you know what? I'm I'm very open-minded with this. Now, I think the, the, the physical appearance of the keyboard may not be up everyone's alley. However, it is based off of the keyboard or computer that one of the characters uses in the anime. Very cool, very, very cool. I'm actually, again, this had pretty good reviews, so I am gonna definitely watch this. Although I don't actually have a DVD, you know what, maybe I do have a DVD player somewhere at my parents' house. But yeah, maybe I will, just, just to get like the authentic DVD experience, you know what I mean? All right, let's see what's in the accessory box first here. They give me an accessory box. Now I don't know if it's gonna come with a USB cable, but this is O-ring and top mount. So what's gonna be really nice about this IMO is you can buy a PC plate and I don't have a PC plate with me today, but I like the fact that you can do two. And again, the price point of this is not too crazy. Again, if it follows what it says in the IC, which is about 200 bucks. Very cool. We have some foam, which I'm probably not gonna to use today. We have some daughter boards here because I think they sent me two USBs or two um, USBs, two PCBs. Uh, some screws, some things labeled in there. Uh, some stabs, which I think that's just supplied to me to build something today. I don't think it's coming with stabs. Our kit will include Duroc stabs. Wait, psych type. Is it going to be around $200? If it, that's pretty crazy if it comes with the stabs. A lot of people are including them now. That's pretty wild to me. You open this guy here up. So we have two different PCBs. I am most likely gonna use the non-hot swap one because I believe this hot swap one's only ISO. Yeah, this is just the ISO one. So the hot swap unit does have an ISO option, which I don't think I'm gonna use today just cause I don't feel like using ISO today. Yeah, I, I think there's gonna be different PCBs. Honestly, I kinda wanna solder tonight anyways. I feel like if I do, Hot swap, the stream's gonna last all of 40 minutes. <laughs> and then we have our PS, uh, PCB here, lots of options. So pretty nice, nice little 60% keyboard going on here. I think we'll do split right shift. We'll do full backspace because I've, I've been enjoying full backspace again recently. And we have the aluminum plate here. Pretty basic, just an aluminum plate. Let's move this to the side. Actually, who made this PCB? This designed in-house? Hmm, doesn't say. And I believe they also said the box was gonna change for the uh, final board here too. It's not gonna be a darker print, but pretty cool. So again, character from the anime, psych type, Navi 60. Box is pretty neat. Magnetic flap. That's cool too. Nice. Oh shit, there's another hot swap PCB here. Is this, wait, is this an ANSI one? Oh, it is. Okay, so we got three PCBs. And we also have, oh, is this an FR4 plate? I low key kind of want to use the FR4 plate today. Oh, this is nice like presentation. I'll give them that. This is super cute presentation here. How many of you guys have actually seen the anime? Like I said, I looked up reviews on this because you know, my, my, my knowledge of anime, I only started watching animes like when Attack on Titan came out, that was pretty much like when I started and then I kind of fell down the rabbit hole. Uh, but I have not watched this guy. I saw it years ago. It's a bit of an older anime, right? So again, this is based off of uh, a keyboard the character uses or it's a computer system. Oh, this is nice. And I did look at what it's based off of. It, it says in the IC, they did a pretty good job of like encapsulating the feeling of what this is based off of. 
So it's it's not quite a rectangle. It's more of like a, I don't know, even know how to describe this, but kind of tapers off the down rather over here. That red looks so good. It is a very nice anno. Very very nice. Some minor imperfections in the in the uh, inside here, but nothing that I would complain about. The exterior is great. Brass weight. I believe they did say this is clear coated too, but this would look really cool if it had like a patina on it. Pretty cool. Crimson Cadet. I was actually thinking of using something beige today. O-ring Pog. So yeah, we could do O-ring or we could do top mount. I'm leaning more to trying the O-ring first and then we can try the top mount. But overall, aesthetics, kind of your basic box on wedge aesthetic for the side over here. And then again, it kind of tapers this way or I guess curves this way here which follows suit of how it's actually laid out in the anime, which is fun. I don't exactly know what this symbol stands for. I'm sure this is somewhere in the anime as well. I just have not watched it yet. It's checking all the boxes so far. I don't know, I kind of have like a weird, like, listen, I'm gonna be honest. Usually when it comes to like these kind of anime inspired or just like inspired boards, it's, it's usually kind of like, a, it's like, okay, if you love it, you buy it. But for some reason, I think this is gonna sound really good. It seems like it's checking all the boxes of like, good. The only box that I will say that I, I will let you guys know about is the front height, I believe is effective 22 mil. So it's a slight bit higher in terms of what I usually prefer for a uh, front height. It's not unusable though. I believe it was 22 mil that I read. We're using Alu for this. Cause I, I have a feeling I'm gonna prefer the O-ring and I, I sort of wanna hear a little bit more like umph from the plate. So we'll, we'll use this. If you pick Alu, it's definitely, yeah, I do agree. It's definitely gonna be an O-ring. The Desmond is so cool. Thank you. It's from uh, Novel Keys. It's part of their Star Wars concept stuff. Also, just so everyone knows, and just so I'm always transparent, because you guys know I, I value that. I work for Novel Keys. It's a desk pad at the end of the day. It's not like it's performance driven. I just like Star Wars as well. And it's by a company that I work for. So just so you guys are aware. New uh, mode board looking sick though. The tempo. Yeah, tempo looks interesting. All right, let's put this back together. So again, just a little brief rundown on this. Uh, I do believe the, this kit will be in and around $200. Uh, beautiful, beautiful looking keyboard. If you're into the in at me, which is serial experiment lane, I think this might mean a little bit more to you. Uh, I still think this is pretty. I do. Side profile is pretty simplistic. Uh, the only thing that I might say some people may have a problem with, but might not be an issue to a lot of people is the front height is I believe 22 millimeters which is a little higher. I prefer like 20 is my max that I really like. So 22 is a little bit above that, which is not unusable to me, but I love that this, uh, I love that board's unique shape. Yeah, it's definitely nice. And this is based off of the computer and keyboard of one of the characters in the anime. And they have photos comparing it all. They did a pretty good job with the, with the interest check for this. I have to give them credit. They, they really did good, did a fantastic job like portraying this keyboard, showing where the inspiration came from. New Hope came out in 1977. Isn't that fucking crazy? I don't know, I just feel like the last like 15 years have just like flew by, man. Not to get all sad and stuff about that, but definitely feels like it's flew by. The 22 front mil front height is with keycaps. I was gonna say, it didn't feel like 22 mil. Unless they change it this year, you get the same cut. Yeah, I think it's the same thing, guys. Kaiju R2 is indeed a thing on novel keys right now. And there's also Mecha Kaiju, which uses a new... Oh, and for anyone who's wondering, yeah, so Kaiju R2 is live on Novel Keys right now. And there's also a Mecha Kaiju as an alternate base kit. And for anyone who's wondering, I did get to see the metallic keycaps in person. Not a full set, a few samples. Oh, I think it was one sample. I can't remember if it was two. Uh, it's very cool. Every keycap's gonna be a little bit different because 
Uh, it's using a new, like, I'm assuming it's like some sort of metallic flake inside the resin. Uh, so everything's going to be a little different. Every set will be a little bit different from the last. It's up to you guys if you guys like that or not. Uh, I think it's pretty neat. It's kind of cool that they're doing something different with their ABS plastics. Now the color scheme might be a bit divisive. I'm not too sure if everyone will love that color scheme. But if you guys are into classic Kaiju, which I really am, I love that set. I've always thought it was a sleeper, even before I knew Riley personally. I like this little notch on the top of the frame here. It's fun. Kaiju was on drop. So now we gotta finesse this o-ring ever so slightly in. Oh, it's not the o-ring. It's a little bit of the dotted board cable that's sticking up a little bit. There we go. Finessed. That was actually pretty easy. Both sets look really good, but I think I'd go for the Mecha one. It's very different. I think if anything, the Mecha one is kind of like a standout just because we haven't really seen anything like that before. Dude, Fresh is insane at making those those trailers. All right, kind of cool looking. Our dreams of wobbed ruin. It's okay. Honestly, this is probably gonna make for a nice set. This keyboard is quite nice. Okay, you know what? I, I'm just like very curious on how this is gonna sound. So I'm just gonna send it and type on this right now. There is some movement in the frame over here. It seems to bounce itself out no matter what you do. But just, just like as a warning, it does seem like there is some movement here. I'm not, it doesn't seem like it's gonna interfere with anything. Ooh. All right, so this is the Navi 60 based off, what is it called? So, serial Experiment Lane. Pretty nice looking keyboard actually. It's gonna be about $200. It's O-ring and top mount. So for fans of that anime, this might be a really no-brainer pickup if you guys are like mega fans. Uh, there's no side, there's not really side-to-side -side movement, no, not a whole lot. Do a little HJ test. This is Tangerine's aluminum plate O-ring. That sounds really good. The mutedness might be the tangies. They were not heavily lubed, but they definitely feel like they were a little bit more lubed than they should have been. I mean, if you guys were interested in that like traditional O-ring feel and sound, this definitely hits all of those notes. And I'm sure if you use a long pull, if you guys want that like big loud space bar, probably swap it for a long pull. This, we're not using a long pull here, we're using tangies. I don't believe they're long pull. So one telltale sign usually of like a good O-ring board is you won't have those like really hollow corners. Which I'm not hearing any hollowness. Yeah, the sequence does it is a little bit hollow. Even like the Bacaneco is like super hollow on the corners. This is fine. I mean, again, listen, if this was like a five hundred dollar board, uh, I might be like, yeah, it's that's a that's a very tough pill to swallow. This gives you two mounting styles. Top, which you might like better if it's like a polycarp. Again, that's my thing. I don't love it with aluminum, so I'm not even gonna try. Um and then O-ring. Really, you think this sounds hollow? Do you guys think this sounds hollow a little bit? 
Oh, you like the hollow sound. Never mind, I read that wrong. I thought you said this. you think it hol sounds hollow sometimes. This sounds great. It's very comfortable to type on too. It's uh, got that O-ring softness to it. So, hey, you know what? I think this is a winner. Uh, again, if you guys are into the anime and you just happen to be into keyboards, it's kind of a no-brainer then. If you guys had a few extra dollars to throw and you want to support the project, I mean, sounds great. Like this is something I can even see myself like heavily using. Just, I like this general sound signature. Damn, pretty nice. Pretty nice. And this is 200 bucks. Uh, but I think that's just for the FR4 plate. I think if you want the aluminum plate like I used, it's an extra $20. I'll find out. Yeah, 24, oh wait, no, plus 20 USD for alu play, and then it's 24 if you just want it as a separate add-on. Um, and then there's also an upcharge if you want beige. So it makes sense because it's an eco. So pretty cool. Again, if you guys are into the anime, into the keyboard, the keyboard is based off of something in the anime. I believe the, the main character is like computer slash keyboard setup. I still don't like the tangies. Tangies I feel like are not everyone's thing. This would be so nice with Nixies. This would also probably be really nice too if you want something a bit brighter, like Obscura's cream sodas. This is pretty, 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 pretty nice. I actually don't know when it goes up for sale. Um, vendor list, however, is prototypist uh, for UK. For Canada, we have Ash Keeps. Uh, for Japan, we have Base Keys. For US, we have Keeps for All. For EU, we have Key Gem. Really like Key Gem. Uh, for Oceania, we have All Caps. Asia, Pantheon Keys, and PH, which I assume is Philippines, we have Desk Daily. I haven't heard of Desk Daily before, but that's apparently the designer of the keyboard. So cool that there's so many different vendors supporting this project though. Key Gem on top. Key Gem's really nice. They, they've always been like super great people. Pretty nice. Thinking another switch would serve this uh, board better. I don't know because I also, I also like tangies. You guys have always known that I've always had like a, a bit of an affinity for tangies. So I like them. I think it's nice. I, but again, that's my bias saying that I like tangies. This is from Novel Keys, the desk pad. But yeah, cool, very cool board psych type. I just want to like shout you guys out one more time because I genuinely think this is a cool project. Cool to see a well-priced, has a, has a weight on it, interesting design, based off of something that you loved and you brought to life. All right there guys, have a good one, enjoy. Thanks for being here, love you all immensely and peace out everyone, Bye bye